Hello! This is the official labor vlog, except it's not exactly a labor vlog because <laughs> things moved so fast. We are at the hospital though. We have little baby boy here. It's crazy. I can't believe he's actually already here. So we came to the hospital last night, had this baby boy this morning, and to tell you guys the story of the labor because I didn't get as much footage and I didn't get to like vlog as much as I wanted to or as much as I expected to because it moved so fast. It was such a fast, crazy labor. So we came to the hospital at like 11.30 last night and I was getting contractions every 10 minutes or so. I had been a centimeter dilated at my appointment last week and um, when the contractions were really strong. I had actually been, di been, what am I even saying? I had been having contractions all day since like 8 a.m. that were progressively getting closer and closer and stronger and stronger. And so when they got to be like 10 minutes apart, even though they told me not to come in until they were seven minutes apart, I just was in so much pain. I was like, I need to go get this checked out. At one point they were had gotten to be like eight minutes apart too. So we came into the hospital at 1130 and they checked me and I was still only like a half, like a centimeter and a half to two centimeters dilated. And they were like, that's not really quite enough. So they had us walk the halls for an hour at midnight um so they like took me to the evaluation room checked me and everything and told me that they wanted me to walk around and see if it got things sped up a little bit more so jordan and i walked through the hallway back and forth back and forth for an hour from 11 40 to 12 40 in the middle of the night i was still getting contractions during that time and they were getting so brutal like so strong but when we got back to the evaluation room and they checked me again, I was only two. two centimeters dilated and I had not made any progress. So they sent me home. So they sent me home with something to help me sleep. And they basically were like, if it picks up, call. But we do think this is it. You're in the early stages of labor. We think today's going to be the day, but it's just not right now. And we need you to like make more progress before we keep you. So we go home. At 1.30 in the morning, we got, got back home and that was like, it felt so defeating. But we tried to get some sleep. I was so uncomfortable. I was like putting pillows all around my back and in between my legs and the contractions were starting to get stronger and stronger to where like I made Jordan lay next to me so I could squeeze his hand through it or I was like holding on to things in on the couch. And one of my friends was over sleeping because she had come over to watch Christian and Christian was sleeping. The timing actually worked out well because we like put Christian to bed before we went to the hospital the first time. So then when we came back, everybody was still sleeping. So the two of us just laid on the couch and I continued contracting. But they were so strong and so painful. And eventually they got to be like four minutes apart. And I felt like I, like I was like on all fours in the living room, like howling through it, like yelling. And so Jordan called the hospital again and was like okay she's having contractions they're four minutes apart they're really painful and she's feeling the urge to push and the hospital was like get here now that drive was so brutal <laughs> but we got to the hospital and i think it's important to note too you didn't purposely wait till it was four minutes apart i didn't it know just, it happened so fast it happened so fast and it happened while we were like kind of in and out of sleep so and and they told us come back when they're five minutes apart and if you're feeling the urge to push so i really just wanted to make sure i was like there so yeah when i called them they were like okay it's time come in so we get to the hospital and i like couldn't even sit in the wheelchair that they pulled up i was like sitting like this yelling through the pain and um they just I think just judging by the way I looked, they didn't even take me to the evaluation room. They took me straight up to a hospital room or a delivery room, which is where we're at right now. And we made it to... Well, we got, before that, in the elevator. Oh, that's true. So we got to the hospital because we called them 
because of the coronavirus restrictions, we had to call them downstairs to come meet us outside the hospital. So we called them at 5.15 and then delivered him at 5.29. So 14 minutes later, but on the way up, she's like running through the hospital, wheeling me in this wheelchair that I could barely sit in. They were like, oh yeah, she's one cheek in it. And so we need to get her in a room. She's only got one cheek on the seat because I was like sitting like this. And then in the elevator, my water broke. And then when we got to the room and they undressed me, I had like the bloody mucus plug on my leg. And so it was like one thing after another. And then Jordan heard them say, um, they got you in the bed. They got me in the bed and four minutes later he came out. They got me in the bed at 525 and he was born at 529 in the morning, four minutes later. And when they got me in the bed to check my cervix, to check if I was dilated, they checked me and they're like, oh, you're you're there, you're close, like no epidural. We can't do an epidural, it's too late, which like is, is fine, but I was planning on getting an epidural. I had one with Christian and I was planning on getting another one. Didn't get that. <laughs> and so it was like a natural, very quick birth. And they couldn't even take their hand out. They couldn't even take their, she checked, she had her hand in there to check my cervix and then she, she kept it in there and she was like, I'm just going to keep it in there until the doctor's here until the doctor's here. Cause she was literally holding the baby in and then and she was like, don't push, don't push. Yeah. She was like, don't push. Cause I kept, I had the urge to push and I was like, like I kept wanting to. And she was like, look at me, breathe. Do not push. Don't push. I was like, okay. Um, and so then when the doctor came in, I pushed and pushed twice once I pushed and his head came out and the second time I pushed the whole rest of his body came out and he was born at 529 so it is it was a crazy crazy labor and I bummed I didn't get more like an actual labor video the way I did the first time but it was like something I never experienced and it's just the way it goes like I don't know it was perfect and she's a superhuman it was crazy the contractions were the worst part. Like pushing actually went by so fast and I feel really good now that I'm in recovery. So he was born four hours ago and I feel really good in recovery right now. Like I feel a lot better than my first labor because I didn't have an epidural this time. So we'll see the third, I, I think it's totally a personal choice, but now that I've done one, done it once and then not had it once, um, Maybe the third time I won't get one. We'll see. Yeah, you didn't choose this time. So. I didn't choose this time. Last time, last night was pretty brutal, pretty awful. You did good though. Yeah. She did so good. It was crazy though. Yeah, we were about <clears throat> five minutes away from having a car baby. Yeah, I came really, really close to having a car baby. It was a 15 minute drive to the hospital. That easily, let's say we got slowed down hit one or two more lights, that could have been a car baby. Or a lobby baby. Lobby baby. It was, I was like holding on, so as we were driving to the hospital, I was holding on to the, what's the thing called, the hang? It's like a, yes, yeah, a hand, hand. Like where you hang your suits when they're being dry cleaned. Yeah. I was like hang, holding on to that with one hand and gripping Jordan's hand with the other, and I was like yelling. Like it was, it was crazy. But then he came so fast, so, Needless to say, there's not as much vlog footage as I thought there would be just because it was very quick and unexpected, but I'll insert what I have and then we'll be filming around the hospital and stuff and I'll definitely get footage of when we come home and he meets Christian. Um, got some great footage of him, little guy. Got great footage of him. Good job getting here. Yeah. Hi, we have a boy at 5.9 for Johnson Avenue. Oh my god. 
to deliver. Yeah, it's right? much easier. Nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. Usually you don't even have to push. So I'm just gonna give it a little pop and uh, Do see if it down. That'd be great. Just one little band. Oh, you're just filling all the bubbles, sir. <laughs> A cutie. He is. Look at him smiling. Oh, <laughs> so happy. Good boy. There we go. That is so Aww. cute. Good boy, Arlo. Yeah, he's just kind of chilling. Great. He's flexing those toes. <laughs> There we go. That's we got so it. Cute. So cute. That's awesome. We are actually getting ready to move to a different room. So I'm in the room. I, at my hospital does like a combined room where it's like the room you deliver in and then it like converts spaceship wise back to like your comfy, comfortable room, which I actually really like because they're big, nice rooms. But we're getting ready to move to a different wing because they're putting all the healthy people in that wing. Um, that way, if anybody who is sick comes through labor and delivery, they're not potentially affecting newborns or moms. So we're going to move rooms to like the wing of healthy people that they have and do that in just a few minutes. But already got breakfast, had French toast for breakfast, still starving. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And this is baby boy. Beautiful baby boy. And he already breastfed too. So he like latched no problem. We just, he was rooting around. I was holding him and like doing skin to skin after delivery. And he was rooting around on my chest and just acting like he wanted it. So I put him on the boob and he latched like no problem. And then he ate from both sides for a really long time. No problem. Um, and so that I was super happy about that too. Like that was great. It's been a successful, successful morning so far. Here's my real life postpartum situation got my mesh panties and all i don't know why i call them panties they're definitely not like little panties this is four hours postpartum crazy crazy that that used to be in here although it still kind of looks like it here's our celebration brunch that we get before leaving today so we've got hers, nice little California Benedict. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and his. Jordan is very excited. <laughs> All right, day two. I guess it's almost, or technically, is it like first full day? Yeah, first full day. Baby is like 24. 
30 hours old right now so it's the first full day but today's day two in the hospital we're actually getting discharged today um, because partly because I think they're giving people an early discharge option for coronavirus and just like if you want to go home early you can so we're taking advantage of that so that we can get home to Christian so excited to be back with him I've got this weird congestion that started after I delivered and I don't know if it's the hospital error or some weird postpartum thing but I feel like I sound very stuffed up but I'm just hanging out in the bed the little man is down there by my feet he just got a diaper change and we're just letting him have some peace and quiet he just got done eating too so he just nursed um, for like 20 minutes or so he's actually picked up nursing really well really easily and I so I delivered him yesterday morning and my milk has already started to come in too so that's been nice. He's picked up nursing easily and I've been able to feed him easily and smoothly and already have milk for him and everything. Um, this morning I washed my face and brushed my teeth and put some fresh makeup on and it made me feel like such a human being again, like a little bit more like myself. Um, but I cannot wait to get home and shower. Since we're going home so soon, I'm not going to shower um, here at the hospital. I'm just going to wait till we get home and I'm more comfy there, but yeah. So far so good, smooth. I feel feel good physically, just can't wait to get back home and also see Christian and introduce the boys. Anything you wanna add? Oh. No, I'm just so thankful for you. So proud of you. Thanks. Super mom. Thank you. Super baby over here too. Super baby. All right, time to go home, little one. All right, so now I've got his little newborn nest bed set up. It's so cute. And I'm gonna take some photos with his name tags to announce his name and also just get, I don't know, cute pictures before we get out of here and get out of this hospital. And before he's out of his little hospital bed, he's so cute. When I think about yesterday My oh my My oh my A kiss and so I did Like, I'm not meant to be confined with these things. My feet run free. Baby boy. Ooh, cozy boy. Cozy baby boy. He looks so much like Vern Troyer right now. <sighs> but I love you. Kelly, see your new little brother? See Arlo? She's like, no, I'm good. I'm used to kids. I don't need them. She's like, you guys have already ruined me with one of these. We made it back home. Got little baby here. We are just waiting for Christian to come back. My friend is bringing him back over. And then we get to see him and reunite with him and introduce the two brothers. Jordan, well, I already said Jordan came back last night to be with him, but apparently He's missing mama a little bit. And so we are FaceTiming. Me and Christian were, and me and the new baby and Christian, but I'm excited to, I'm excited to see him myself. I told Jordan it feels like I'm introducing my boyfriend to my dad. Cause I just feel like nervous for Christian to meet the new baby. And I hope it goes over well. So we'll see. He's gonna be a great brother. Yeah. He'll be here in just a few minutes. I'm so excited. Hi, Daddy.
brother's here. I was telling him that yesterday. I'm like, if he owns it, maybe it'll make him feel more excited about it. Give it a baby. This is your baby. Here. This is your brother. Do you want to give him a little kiss? We talked a lot about it, huh? Yeah, this is oh. your brother. He's yours. He's yours. I missed you. I miss. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you guys go get to it. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna get a picture of the bros. This is a video. We'll get a picture too. Can you say my baby? My baby. He's your baby. A baby. Yeah. That is a baby. He's your baby brother. He's yours. You want to sit next to him? You can sit right here. Yeah, he's your baby. You just gotta be very gentle with him. He's so small. Oh yeah, he has a little boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go give him a kiss. Good job. Good job. You're a good boy. That's your brother. Yeah, I need a hug. I miss you. I'm tired. I'm tired. He's tired. You're right. Back to that breastfeeding life. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, you're in control. I got it. <laughs> what do you see? Um, That's you. Good job. You're being such a good brother, Bubba. You being shy. I'm Be gentle. I'm shy. This is your baby brother. Do you love him? <laughs> Suck a little bit of each. <laughs> Can you give him a kiss? Good job. You're such a good brother. Good job. I love you, buddy. Uh oh. Do you love your mama? 